happening on the system. That's my accent light my feeder. Because it's on right now, this light is lit now in the icon. But if I turn off that accent light my feeder, the light turns off. Okay. It's showing me state. Like, I want to put my hand in the picture, so every time it looks like he's focusing, I put my hand up. It also gives me information about what's playing in the room. So right now, the Desert Rose, Radio Edit, by, by Steve, is playing in the room. If I turn off the music in the room, then that will go away. This is the new GUI. This is the new GUI. This is all about If I start music playing again, then that will show up here again on my What's Playing board. In the on-screen environment, the what's playing bar is informational. The reason for that is all of my controls are here. My fingers are here. On the touch screen over there, you'll notice, however, that there are buttons on the what's playing bar. And that's because they're used for controls. On the touch screen, if somebody comes to the door and I want to pause my right, we could get muted. Yeah. So this simplifies that all the time. It's right there. No matter which screen I'm on on the interface, the what's playing bar is one of the challenges that we have in our current interface is that there's a lot of room switching that goes on. If I sit down at the theater and I want to turn off the lights in the kitchen, I've got to change the room to the kitchen. In the 2 interface, I have the ability to browse the whole system without changing rooms. And so as I load up my lighting page, if I want to see lights other than just the theater, I can bring up my room browse view. And it shows me, based on these LEDs, where lights are on in the hall. Okay? If I want to see and control all of the lights in the hall, I just navigate down into my browser and select that level. And then it will lock the lights that are at that level in the hall. So the lights, the lighting is in the hall. The same applies to all of our subsystems, whether it be the security system, integration, the contacts, the relays, the motorizations, the gates, or, or uh, uh, fountains, or lunch doors, that are implemented. All of that is browsing through this same interface. For temperature control, we also have home integration, but instead of using the, the four browse and room browse, we're actually using a tablet interface show you which uh, temperature, which, you know, which thermostats are available in the room and give you access to all the thermostats in the home off of the tablet. Again, the whole idea is to make the, the uh, interface even easier to use than it has been up to this point. One of the things that we also want to do is provide more information. Now you saw on the main screen how we were showing information, temperature, lighting state, music state, all shown on the main screen. But there's other types of information that our dealers are, are trying to show customers. Um, a lot of our dealers are using web-based images for traffic, or weather, or um, other information like that. And so we're now making that much more interactive by giving you the ability to have information applications. Information applications go out live and get information for you and display it to you within the system. Now I actually have six different applications loading here that are pulling information for me and displaying it to me. I've got weather, news, and different weather from different locations throughout the world. If I want more information about what's happening in the Atlanta, Georgia weather, I go ahead and select that application and it will bring it to full screen mode. And in full screen mode, I have uh, a little bit different look and feel. Now, we haven't yet figured out how to control the weather in Atlanta. That'd be good. It'd be good. And when we get that figured out, we'll work on World Hunger next. Yeah, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. But I'll tell you what, we're there together on it. But there are certain things that you can, so this is informational only. There are certain types of applications where you actually would like to control something. Maybe eBay, or Facebook, or Flickr, or Twitter, or any of those web services. You can also have applications, and we're demonstrating them over there, on how you can actually interact with the web service and the control for environment. Nice. Cameras? Good. Good. It's not as current to Yeah? Say, right? Cameras? What's that? Cameras? Cameras! Let's show you our cameras. 
I don't have full camera implementation in my preview, but I got a little bit that I can show you. So let's go ahead and move over there and show you that. How are you guys? Great. I like it when it says you're going to buy more stuff. Yeah. That's, that's well, a good outcome. for myself. <laughs> It looks good. So you like it? What are we showing yeah. in here? This is a 2.0 preview room. Yeah. There's a full live system. We've got two touch panels and an on-screen controlling an actual system so that you can you know, get some experience with it. So the white basil on the channel. Yeah. 